Good afternoon, everyone. Joe Spock from NDB Aviation. I'd like to take the time today to show you how to set up a SciTech TPM module with an X-Plane 10. Now, make sure you have all your cables hooked up. Make sure you have the latest drivers from SciTech.com. And once all that's up and running, you have the simulator running. Let's go over to Settings, Joystick and Equipment, and let's go to Axis. And let's go ahead and turn these to None. Notice when I click in these menus here, they bring up everything that's possible to assign. And we're going to look for our TPM module. And I'm going to start pulling and pushing levers here. So I'm going to start by pushing and pulling the black lever, the throttle lever. Throttle. So we're going to select it there. Full throttle. Throttle's at idle. Now let's go to the prop. Prop all the way out. Prop all the way in. Select prop. There we go. And let's do the mixture lever. The red lever. All the way in, all the way out. That's all the way in. And that's our mixture. Now, with X-Plane 10, for the prop and mixture, you will need to make sure that you reverse them. That way, within the simulator, they actually go the proper movements. Throttle does not need to be reversed. If you want to use a multi-engine setup, you can see down below this area here, the four black bars, the two clear bars. Those are representative of my plugged-in SciTech throttle quadrants that are side-by-side. -side. You can reset those or assign them to be throttle one, two, three, or four, set them up for a 747, set them up for a Baron, whatever you're preferring to fly in the simulator. The catch in X-Plane 10 is if you don't have a plug-in to work on top of X-Plane, you will have to change those axes every time. Now, if you are using FSX or Prepare3D, you can, you can assign multiple axes across multiple hardware units, so different throttle quadrants, the TPM, and so on. Unfortunately, in X-Plane, you can't. So it's only a, a worn assignment feature until they add a, uh, a separate profile feature into the, into the simulator itself. Now, if you'd like to assign the switches on the TPM, come over to the Buttons Basic. If you can't find exactly what you want here, go to Buttons Advanced, and you can go through a whole slew of systems and uses. However, do remember that the TPM switches only work when you push them down. There is not a reverse off-on, in a sense. It's only one key feature per up-down, and it only triggers when you push it down, not when you push it back up. One of the limitations, unfortunately, of the TPM's design. If you have any questions of how to set this up in X-Plane that I did not cover, or you feel like you need a little bit more explanation, feel free to leave your comments below. But this is the basic way to set everything up. Go to Settings, Joystick and Equipment, Axis, and just start pushing and pulling your levers here, and you'll be able to find them and then assign them. Remember, the prop and mixture do need to be reversed. Joe Spock from NDB Aviation. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.